So to create this scary clown, I'm going to start off by waxing down the brows and this is good because the makeup can sit on top and it can look nice and clean and you won't see any of the hairs. I'll brush the hairs in the direction of the hair growth to begin with. I just apply the wax on the spatula at a 45 degree angle and then that just flattens the hair and you can just pull the excess wax across. You don't have to do this step, we are using dark colours on this part of the brow but it's just something that I wanted to do for it to sort of be a bit more pristine. I'm taking a sealant and this is going to seal the wax so that you can work on the top of it and it won't be sticky. I did the quickest sketch you'll ever see in your life, this is just an idea for me to sort of grasp what I'm doing on the face and use it as a guide. I'm just using an angle brush and some black eyeshadow just to map out the shapes on the face so I can use that as a guide for when I put the white paint over the top then I can still see where I need to go in with other colours. So now I've done that, I'm using white snazaru paint on a little sponge and I'm just stippling that on to get the best coverage. If you drag it on you'll find you won't get a very nice density of colour so I find stippling, let that dry and then go back over it and you'll get a nice opaque finish to it. I'm using a black and purple snazaru paint for the eyes. I'm starting with purple over the eyelids and then I'm going to blend that up into black. I'm making sure to get a nice opaque colour over the brows because this is where the colour is going to shine through most. I'm now taking black and taking that over just the eyelid itself and then I'm going to take it up towards the top half of this shape. I'm using a flick in motion just to feather the colours together and I don't need to be too neat with this because I'm going to go in with eyeshadow later on just to blend the colours together nicely. I'm just using a fine liner brush just to go around all the detail and just put it all back in using the black. When creating long lines, you may want to use your little finger against the cheek just to counterbalance your hand. Now I've got the main outline of the mouth, I'm just using the black on a brush just to fill in. This is the section where we're going to add all the teeth in, so we're giving the illusion that the mouth's a lot bigger than it actually is. I'm just filling in the lip with a bit of red pencil. This just gives a bit of a base so when the paint goes over the top, it's more dense in colour. To keep the face more character, I want to enhance all the lines, the frown, I want to give more lines to the forehead etc. So I'm just using a little bit of black eyeshadow on an angle brush to do this. I'm going around roughly first just to put in a little bit of shadow and then I'm going to use a pencil brush just to blend that in and what you'll see it starts to create expression and emotion on the face. What I'm doing is I'm just patting in the shape, so I'm not drawing a defined line, I'm just patting in tiny little lines and then I'm going to blend them together using the pencil brush. You don't want anything too harsh, you just want a shadow. Adding the lines up here on top of the forehead enhances the smile of the face and also add a slight surprised expression.
Not everybody smiles with their mouth, a lot of people just smile with their eyes. So seeing the creases at the corner of the eyes always emphasises a smile expression. So this is why it's really important to put these in place for this look. Clowns always have an over exaggerated mouth, so I'm going in with the eyeshadow just to create the deep ridges, enhancing that real expressive smile. I'm going back in with the white now just to enhance the highlighted sections, and this will really create contrast. I want to create some more texture to the lips so I've decided to go in over the top of the paint with some lipstick. This will create a more glossy look to them. To add the teeth in, I'm using the white Snazaroo paint. This doesn't go on very opaque, so you do need to apply a couple of layers to it. And I found the easiest way to do this, to create sharp teeth, was to paint in blocks and then go back in with the black just to separate the blocks up, creating tiny teeth and making them sharp. I'm making sure all the teeth are different heights and totally ununiformed. Once the teeth were complete, I just had to add the nose and I bought a wig and a bow tie which we burnt just to make it look a little bit more creepy and scary. And you'll also see at the end, Jack's got a twin brother who we also made up as a clown. So you'll see the two together. So thanks for watching and happy Halloween!